Hi guys, my name is Ferdy and in this video series I will talk about the best free WordPress themes. And I want to say up front that I use Elementor as a page builder at all the free themes I use. So this has everything to do with the theme I'm using right now. But everything below from here on, all this stuff is made with the Elementor page builder. It's a free page builder. And here's a footer. And here's another footer area. So this has everything to do with the theme, just as the header and this area has everything to do with the Elementor page builder. So when I review a theme, I will talk about the header, I will talk about the footer, I will talk about the customizations, how much can you change, what are the options. I will talk about the blog page, what is possible with the blog page, can you do different layouts and all that stuff. And I will talk about additions that come with the theme. So in this video, we will take a look at the Flux theme. Over here, you have a nice header with a logo. You can adjust the size over here. You can also change the size of the menu items really easily. You have a beautiful submenu and it looks really clean. If I customize it and I go to the header and the top header bar, I can turn this on. I can add a text over here. You can also put HTML code in it. And over here, we have few nice icons and when you hover over it, you see the color of the brand. If I scroll down, you can display a top header card and you can see your basket with the stuff you have in it. You can change it and it's dark. So there are a lot of options also for WooCommerce. So that's really nice. If I go back and I go to the general website socials right now, they are gray but I also can use the brand colors and then you see the colors over here. So there are a lot of things you can change within this beautiful theme. When you scroll down, you see that the menu is sticky. That's really nice. What I also like is that the top menu is not sticky. So when I scroll down, the menu shrinks a bit and it does not take too much space. So everywhere in the page, I can navigate through the website. So if I scroll down, I go to the footer area. This is the footer area with three widgets, Facebook, Instagram, and the recent posts. And here below I have my copyright stuff and a few more social icons. Maybe I don't like it. How can I change that? It's really easy. I go to the footer settings and this is the footer and this is the sub footer. So I go to sub footer and maybe I want to have a dark background. So I click over here and I make it black. But now you don't see the titles. Then here below it says dark skin for widgets. I click on it and now they are white. So in that way you can change things in this theme. What I also like is this arrow over here. If I click here, I go up to the top of the website and in that way I can navigate through the website. Well, let's take a look at the blog page. If I go to blog, you see I can adjust the single post, the single post title, but also the blog page and beside that a blog slider, that's this over here and you can adjust it all. So I can turn it off and then you'll see the grid over here. You can turn it on, you can adjust it. Right now it's a light skin. I can also make it like this or like that. A lot of options. Remove the title. Then we go to the blog page and right now it's a grid. It's a beautiful grid with the title, an image, the date, the category, a text, read more button, the amount of comments. I can change it so it looks like that or I can make it like this. So you see there are a lot of options. And what I really like, if I close this, and if I take a look at the add-ons, it comes with a portfolio plugin. So over here I can showcase my services, photography, videography, and web design, or all of them. You see it's displayed really beautifully. And I can adjust a lot of things. So if I edit the page, I can change the look and feel over here. And the great thing about this theme is when you hover over the portfolio type, you see it in action. So maybe I like this or this one. So I really like this theme. 
Are there things I don't like about the theme? Yes. It would be great if it could be a transparent header like this. A transparent header. And besides that, it would be great if it would be easier to change the header sizes of the theme. Now I need to do it with custom CSS. It would be great if that would be an option within the theme. One more thing over here, you see the previous post or the next post. You can change this within the theme. You can even add images over here. This is really nice. After every blog post, you see some details about me, about my social media links, and you can respond and it looks like that. So I think the Flux theme is an all-round theme that will be useful if you want to have a professional website or you want to become a blogger or you just want to have a portfolio website. I think this is one of the best free themes out there in 2018. If you want to make this website, then please click on the link in the right upper corner. And there I will show you step by step how you can make this website. If you want to learn how to make a website using the Flux theme, then please click on the link in the description or the link in the right upper corner. Please let me know in the comments what you think about this theme. What are your pros and cons? Or do you think there's another free theme that deserves a review? Please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a ton of good stuff. And feel free to like this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. And then you will see me the next time. Bye bye.